I taught us we got some learning to do here. My nephew brought home another book the other day, just burns me up. Now they want to politically correct up Christmas stories so they don't offend nobody and everybody everywhere can enjoy it. So this is a story formerly known as Twas the Night Before Christmas. It is now called Twas the Night Before a Non-Denominational Winter Holiday. <laughs> It was the night before a non-denominational winter holiday when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The neutral gift sacks were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that a non-specific holiday figure would soon be there. <laughs> Children of every race, creed, and nationality were resting all snug in their beds while visions of sugar-free plums danced in their heads. <laughs> when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I got up out of bed to see what was the matter and to see who was violating the neighborhood sound level ordinance. <laughs> but what to my wondering eyes did appear but an emissions-free vehicle, an eight-size challenge reindeer. <laughs> Holiday figure was so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be holiday figure. <laughs> he had a broad but normal face and an advanced sized belly and he laughed, Lady of the evening, Lady of the evening, Lady of the evening. <laughs> yeah. What in the world? He can't even say ho, ho, ho no more. What kind of comic crap is this? I don't care who you are. His name is Santa Claus, and he cracks deer with a horse whip, breaks into people's houses, drinks rum and eggnog, and looks like Uncle Jesse from Dukes of Hazard in the store. <laughs>